Welcome back to another installment of the dev blog. Uh, not a whole super lot to cover this week, but let's hop headlong into what there is. So I think the butter churn was added last episode already, but uh, it's now uh, it's now fully functional. So you input milk from a bucket of milk and two buckets of milk will fully fill this this gauge whatever we want to call this this bar uh that doesn't really have any sort of a status oh actually the info text is a status so it tells us it's making butter and we get a lump of butter and you'll get four lumps of butter from each bucket of milk so a full churn will give you eight lumps of butter total i think it's every 10 seconds i believe the threshing machine is working. Um, so let me get something we can thresh. Uh, let's go for some weeds. For some reason, the server is being a little laggy right now. I'm not sure why. We can throw our weed in. Um, you can either thresh quickly or slowly, slow or fast, technically. So currently, it's running at a fast speed. Currently, it's not running at all. Let's make it start running by clicking fast. Um, okay. There we go. Must be uh, kind of broke. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't look right at all. Fast speed should be faster than this. Interesting. Well, anyway, you have slow and fast. Um, every wheat will give you, or actually any grain that you throw in here, you'll get hay and you'll get your seeds. If you go at a fast speed, it runs faster, but you get fewer seeds. If you run at a slow speed, obviously it takes a lot longer, but you get more seeds. So let me go ahead and throw these seeds out. And let me grab 10 more of these. Uh, this is not running fast. For some reason, there is quite a bit of server lag right now, but I don't know why. Okay, well, we'll we'll let that do its thing. And the uh, I don't have any seeds, so I can't. This is the same as before. You throw your seeds in there. You get grain out here. This thing's taking forever. The recipes were changed up a little bit for the bread because of the addition of butter. So now it's two eggs, one sugar, one butter. This is banana bread, so four bananas, two flour of any type of flour, and that'll give you two doughs. And it pretty much is the same for all of your breads you need. What is this? One salt, one sugar, two eggs, two flour, one lump of butter, and you get two loaves of, or two, two lumps of dough, I guess, for all of your breads, with the exception of banana and pumpkin bread. So that is those, and then obviously you you bake the bread to get bread. No big surprises there. All right, so we got 23 seeds going at a slow speed or at a fast speed rather, let's put it to slow speed. Put our weed in and see what we get. Um, I was gonna say, do I have these set backwards? But no, I don't. All right, well, this looks like it's gonna take a while. So we will uh, run off. Um. Yeah, nothing else changed up here. I just really did this. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, there were some bugs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is what it was. Um, so most all of the stations can be locked. So if we pull up, let's hope this works. Okay, so you can make pretty much all of the stations you can make the locked version of by crafting the station with a lock. The locked versions 
should only allow people who have access to the area to take anything out. So for example, if I had a locked anvil over here, which these aren't locked, but if they were, I would be the only person that could put stuff in the side here or take items out because I am the only person in this area protection. That is how all locked stations are supposed to work. Uh, there were a couple that weren't doing that. Oops, so those have been fixed. I don't know which they were because I don't remember, but they are fixed now. Um, so the locked stations need to be in a protected area for them to actually be locked because it goes off of the protection to tell who should be able to access the inventory and who shouldn't. Uh, somebody had reported that as a bug, but that technically is not a bug. That's the normal behavior that it's supposed to have. Um, uh, added unified inventory entries for some items made in stations. I think that's probably the butter. So if we look up butter, I don't know if there's any others that I did this for. Oh, I think flour too. So I want, uh, I want to see how to craft butter. Here we go. So the butter can be crafted. It shows you use a butter churn. Milk, bucket of milk gives you four butter and a butter churn. You can also convert your old butter into the new butter. The old butter can't be crafted with milk or uh, yeah, milk and salt anymore. But I figured if people have butter, I want them to be able to use it. So you can turn it into the new butter. And I think I did flour as well. So if you're trying to figure out how to make flour, no, I want to see how to. Hey, there we go. So you can see that you take four barley seeds, use the flour mill, and you get barley flour. Uh, you can also do this and get one barley flour, which is extremely inefficient because as we see here, I got 60 wheat seeds from 10 things of wheat running at slow speed, and I got 23 running at fast speed. So, um, yeah, pretty much you get a lot higher output running at slow than you do at fast, but it takes longer. And then, you know, we're taking these wheat seeds and turning them into flour, which that'll give us, oops, that'll give us 20 flour, which uh, could then give us 10 loaves of bread. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... This will be of interest to uh, one or two people, maybe. Come on, there we go. The cartographer mod has been added. So you can make cartography tables. That's what they're called. Uh, wood dye and paper in the woodworking station. That'll make you a shabby cartographer table. And you can upgrade from the shabby to the, why is it doing this? The simple or the advanced, I believe this is. Yes, the advanced. And then you can make maps. And uh, this might crash the server. I probably shouldn't do this. Oh, no, there we go. Sweet, so that means it's fixed. Uh, there had been a nasty little bug where right-clicking on the table or opening a map would crash the server. But uh, clearly that's been fixed, so that's, you know, that's pretty good. Um, and that's, that is it for changes. Um, yeah. Not too much, whoops. Try, <laughs> try. Trying to get those elbow back. It's super hot. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. You may notice that I'm breathing real heavy. Yeah, it's because it's really hot and I have no AC on in this room right now. I don't feel good. I don't. If I just pass out in the video, you'll never know because I'll edit it out. But um, yes, it is very hot and this hat doesn't help things. But you know, the hat's the star of the show. Only reason people watch this. Okay, no new entries. The winner has been picked from last week's stream, um, but the code isn't completely finished, so 
Hopefully by the time this video goes live, you will have your prizes. And yeah, that's that's going to be it for this episode. Um, the next few months are probably going to be a little light on development. I have several uh, freelance things that I'm working on right now, so I'm devoting a lot of time to other projects other than the code for this. So, yes, development will be a little slower, probably. Um, but there'll still be the dev blogs, even if there's only one or two things to mention. That's going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week for all the new updates, and I will see you then.